hello welcome to another weekly vlog i am really excited to make this video just because weekly vlogs are my favorite video to make and yes i still do have my chin rash it is not gone yet unfortunately but it's healing quite well thank goodness okay anyways i am at my mom's right now that is what this beautiful backdrop is her backyard um this pond which there is tons of tons of frogs i love it anywho um okay so this week i'm gonna film all of the workouts that i do i am still training for my marathon which is three months away i am quite nervous <laughs> i feel like my training's going well um i'm running quite a bit but like I do work in those days that I work, I'm not running. So I took five days off to come up here so I can get lots of training done, film it, and then I'm also going to film everything that I eat as well, as I usually do, but that'll just be like a little add-on. So all my workouts, so it'll be a what I eat in a week and exercises, a week of eating and exercising pretty much and then I'll show like some other fun things that my mom and I get up to um, while I'm up here oh I need to backtrack a little bit because the start of this vlog started yesterday so I'm just going to show a few clips of like what I ate in my workouts from yesterday and the majority of today because it's already like five o'clock now um, so yeah we will rewind and go back in time and I will start on Sunday. Girl, what's your problem? Well, I know it's at some time. Maybe just give it some time. Money now, love. We can solve that. I'm just at my dad's. So sorry for the poor lighting. So we'll start with this. I um, just made a little salad with garlic powder, um, onion, tomato, parsley, and lime juice. And I have a bunch of leftover roasted potatoes, um, sweet potatoes, purple potatoes from the garden, and red potatoes. And then I'm gonna have them with a bunch of romaine lettuce. My running buddy back there, my dad. <laughs> Okay, so now we will continue in a regular linear fashion for this video moving forward from today on. It's not technically going to be a full week of what I eat and work out. Oh, eat and work out? What I... It's not going to be a full week of workouts and food because I do work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's just going to be like a Sunday to a Thursday. So, still five days. Good enough. Um, what else did I want to say? This will be my first marathon. It is not a race. I'm just doing it alone. Blaze is going to bike with me. That way he can, like, film, carry all my fuel, and just keep me company, make sure I don't die. Um, so yeah, it'll be my first marathon. So far, the longest run I've had is like 22 kilometers, so like a half marathon. <laughs> um, so hopefully getting in some long runs before that. No, I will, for sure. Um, so it's this fall, and then in the spring, so next spring, I am running the Toronto Marathon. So I just kind of want to get one marathon under my belt, so I kind of know what I'm getting into before I do that real race. So I'm gonna show you um, my dinner tonight and then everything I do for the next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three days.
here is my salad. So I have, well, first off, I did romaine, kale from the garden, lettuce from the garden, and spinach, and parsley. Cut, cut that all up and then mashed in like three quarters of an avocado with a bunch of lemon juice, and that was just my dressing. And then I have two tomatoes, onion from the garden, dulse, and then a bunch of steamed veggies. I have broccoli, green beans from the garden, and asparagus. So excited. It is, this is like a huge bowl, as you can see. Very large. It's gonna be so good. Starting off with a celery juice, about 16 ounces, and then I'll have my cucumber and apple after. And here is my liter of cucumber and apple. I think I am going to get ready for my run now. Well, I pretty much am ready. I just gotta get my shoes on and my phone and whatnot. Um, and then I will go for a nice run. My mom gave me this little thing that, like, I'll show you after, but you press it and it's, like, makes the sound of, like, a gunshot, um, just to bring with me in case I am getting attacked by a bear. <laughs> Because there actually are a lot of bears up here, so just to be safe, hopefully I do not have to use it. This is the thing I was talking about. So you just like unlock it and then, oh, hi. And then you pull it down and then it sounds like a gunshot. Scare away the bears. But this is not the best spot for you to be. Oh. Okay. Um... And then I just put some sunscreen on. This is the one that I use. Um, everybody loves the sun zinc lotion. Um, and it's, a bun it's like zinc and then a bunch of like essential oils um, by the brand Living Libations. They're from Ontario, so a Canadian brand. And they are so amazing and like sustainable and organic in such good quality. I really, really love their products. I have quite a few. Beautiful day. Ah. Ooh. Happy. Woo. Just finished 15 kilometers. That felt hard. Like I looked at my time and it was like decent for me, but felt kind of hard. But I feel good now. I just feel like I was pushing it more than I usually do. Anywho, just finished 15 kilometers. Glad to get that done. Um, going to just do a quick little stretch and then have some breakfast. Look at that beauty. Little wine. I always eat a couple seeds. They're disgusting, but so good for you. But. Oh. Mm. Wow. Not much better than that. Oh god. <sighs> that sound is my mom's crock pot I'm bubbling over. Ooh. That is 
for you. Anyways, there we go. Um, we just got back from a kayak, and now I'm gonna make my mom and I smoothies for lunch. I'm gonna do a bunch of spinach. And then I'm gonna do some barley grass juice powder and spirulina. And some frozen wild blueberries. I'm gonna go dump out the compost and then I'm gonna pick some veggies, see what I can find in the garden to steam tonight for dinner. I'm also going to cook some sweet potatoes on uh, the barbecue because it's hot and my mum won't let me use the oven. So we do not have AC up here, which is fine. Just cook them on the barbecue and I'm gonna steam some veggies. And I will talk some more in one sec. Just going to pop my basket. Dump this. Looks like we're eating beans tonight. So, so far my marathon training has been good. I like running now more than I ever have. I've been running casually, very casually, for like 10 years, I guess. But I would go like through phases for like a month where I wouldn't even run. But the last like, is she coming back in here? She's letting you talking. Yeah, of course. Trying to talk to the camera. Hey. I just, as soon as I get talking to the camera, you come in. Oh, all right. It's okay. Yeah. I won't get this video from it. Okay. I've been casually, very casually running for the last 10 years. Um, the last five months is when I actually have been like trying a little bit harder. Um, and like that's when I started training for this marathon and it's been good but it is obviously a lot of work um, and some days I just feel like oh I just don't want to run and I make myself anyways because I don't really want it to be like brutal like I want to have a decent time running this marathon I don't care if it takes me a long time I just don't want to get like hurt um, and then after my marathon in May, I'll probably go back to more casual running. Um, and yeah, but yeah, it's been good. It's nice to have like a goal and then it actually makes me like try and improve my running because before like I was just really slow, which I still am and that's fine, but it's nice to like see, um, improvement and that I'm actually getting faster and like work toward like towards a goal which I really like um so that's been good but yeah just sometimes obviously like I don't want to run some days when I make myself anyways <laughs> that's all that's really the only negative is like not wanting to sometimes and it is time consuming but I do really love running and I never re regret going for a run even if I don't really want to go 
I usually end up enjoying it anyways, so yeah. Dinner part one. Got my steamed broccoli, uh, beans, and peas, and I'm going to just squeeze some lemon on top. Some time, honey, now go. We can sold up. If you just give me some time, I can open up your mind. You can let it shine. You can free your mind. And now that it's gone, is my breakfast. Sorry about the noise. But, um, I had two big glasses of that green juice, so I'm not super hungry, so I'm just gonna have a smaller breakfast of half a papaya and nine ripe figs. Yum. Hello. Just got to the provincial park where I'm gonna go for a little run. Drove my mom's car and it's massive. It was funny. Um... Yeah, just gonna go for a little run here. My mom's getting a haircut. It should probably be like an hour, so I'm gonna run while she does that, and then I'll go pick her up. Um, there should be like some trails and whatnot in there. I don't know. Haven't been here in the summer in a while. My mom and I have come a couple times in the winter to uh, cross country ski, which is really nice. So yeah, looking forward to it, and maybe I'll film a little bit of the scenery. We'll see. Hopefully the bugs are not too bad. Anywho, better get going. Only have an hour, so... Yeah. It's very hot today. Can't really see my face. So sweaty. Um, okay, did about eight kilometers. Um, did a little bit of a hike, did some sprints, just kind of a mixture. Um, now I'm just walking back to the car, a little cool down, and I'll go pick up my mom. It's a very nice run though, but I think there's a heat warning out today, so I'm hot. You can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Lord forgive me, I can take things slowly. I'm going on them when I get going mm. She's trying to take it all off of me Trying to stay real close to me I gotta catch myself I can play myself I need to take it easy Easy, 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 easy My helper today. My vacuum. Can I drop anything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me? Yes. 
And some cooking sweet potatoes. Not tonight. Um, organic black grapes for a snack on our drive home. Yum. Life is getting gas. Meeting. We're gonna stop at Whole Foods. And then we should probably get home at like 7.30. It's gonna be pretty late, but then we'll make dinner and just relax tonight. <laughs> 